Oh, we slept pretty good last night. Good morning, good morning. Home is where your story begins. So let's begin this story with a good old cup of coffee. She's all done brewing. Oh, nothing like a cup of coffee in the morning. Get started on the right foot. <clears throat> it's a nice night. Let's get some sunshine in here. Oh, it's good to wake up in the beach house. Solitude. We got some good rest last night. What a beautiful night it was, wasn't it? Today I gotta clean up this boat. Give her a good bath. For now, look at this. Beautiful weather. Sun just came up a bit ago. Nice view. As I give you my coffee cup salute here. We're hooked on fishing. I love the sound of nature in the morning. Comes a guy that's hooked on fishing. Going to get gas, heading out. Now, right by the fuel docks. It might be a, one of those guys that goes clamming in the morning. There we go. Let's see. Does he have his clamming rake in the back? Salute. Yeah, I see my friend John did make it in the water after all. Where you at, buddy? See, these guys come by quick. It's a no wake zone, but yeah, they didn't. They do like to make a little wake over here. This coffee's delish. Yeah, these guys are getting up early. They're going to get some. Um, Clams. There's another dude. Hard workers. Nice little boat. Catch him when he gets down there, maybe. Rhode Islanders, Rhode Islanders love their um, core hogs and clams and oysters. You got these fishermen, I don't know what you call them, clamors? Ball hoggers, they go out pretty early in the morning, raking, raking that, raking that sand, raking it up, getting all of their, their, their buckets filled of clams, and then they come back and sell them to the local businesses. Got the camera on my right hand, so hooked on fishing is backwards. She's a beautiful morning. It was a beautiful night. I don't know if you can hear all the birds out there. I love the sound of nature. Peace and tranquility. I'm gonna look for a good day today. Today I'm gonna wash this baby down. She's, she's dirty, for sure, she's dirty. I know, some people get it all washed, buffed, waxed, then launched but I didn't really have time for that this season. I'll, wa I'll wash it here and I can wax it right up on the dock. I can wax one side, flip the boat around and wax the other side. The other thing I'm gonna do this, this um, early season is I gotta strip all of this 
all this wood finish over here and, and, and redo it. The last time I stripped it off, I used a heat gun um, with a little uh, like scraper just to take off the, the peel off the finish. I'll show you. See that? This is the finish, it needs to come off. One time I sanded it down, but there's only so much of this teak you got on here. So I find it easier with a heat gun and this stuff just comes right up and you just quickly with the scraper without removing any wood, you just end up removing the top layer and then I'll put the finish over it. Comes out pretty good. I did this part last season. Um, both of the railings on both sides and they still look all right. But yeah. <clears throat> so, so it needs, just needs another coat. Light, gentle. Um, uh, it feels good. Put another coat on there. Watch, it'll look nice. This part right here I didn't do it last year. This part needs to get done. Anyway, we got the hoses out. Everything ready. Gonna bring Pops here today and we're gonna have a good time. Pops is still hanging in there. He lost a lot of weight, but we'll get him here. We'll get him up on this on this boat. Just an easy step over. He'll sit right there on that relaxing chair. That's pop spot right there. Sit right there, relax. Enjoy the weather. My sister's boat's getting launched, so she's got a Silverton. So before I do anything on mine, I'm up early, replacing some of her zincs as the old one and a new one for the trim tabs. So. Here's the first one we did. And then I'm gonna show you with the second one. About to do those. Get the second one done. That way the boat can get launched. One less thing to worry about. And then it's off to washing solitude and getting her cleaned up. Just got back from picking up my old man. He's doing pretty good. He surprised me at how well he was walking today. We made it. <laughs> do no chica. <laughs> it's a sign my sister gave me for the boat and I think I'm gonna put it up right here so I just need to take a little piece off the end I already marked it that little line right there I'm gonna cut off and I'm gonna cut off that one it should fit right in this spot give it some appeal it'll match the rest yeah, you are now entering a stress-free zone. That's what it's all about. It's the popular over here. Say hello. Tati. Did you miss daddy? You got a boat next to you? Say hi. It's a perfect day to have your boat out. These are all the, everyone that's out right now is lucky. Yeah, first start since last year. We started right up. There you go. She's idling pretty good now. Lower that bracket so that my my prop is in the water. Oh, come on, let's get that old gas out through the carburetor. Get the new gas in. There you go. It's looking good. Looking good. It's one job down. Five hundred and twelve thousand more to go. Right, we're inflating the rib. This is a breeze. I think she's nine foot. I got her on um, Amazon from a company in Florida. Sheets can go here and there, but I, I put the bolt up there. I don't like. I feel like it gets in the way of staring from um, from the outboard. So I'm gonna use the little baby outboard because I got the. The other one on Chiron. <clears throat> it's fine. Pain in the neck to put the floorboards in. You have to line them up and then pop, pop the sides in. 
Oh, it's pain in the neck. It has a inflatable keel underneath it too that we already inflated. Sister's boat's in the water. How you doing, Pai? Yeah, good. <laughs> Pai's chilling. <laughs> All right. Here's how the no stress free zone sign came out. More people are getting launched. As soon as we're done, I'll take out for a dinghy ride, cook some burgers up, and enjoy the weather. This little Honda motor's been sitting in the garage all winter. What's up? She's running, but I'm sure the next time I'll be down here, I'll need to take up out that carb and clean her out. And all of a sudden she kicks in. Quick recovery, Captain. Where are all the qualified Captain fans at? Test ride is going pretty good. It's not bad for a little two and a half horsepower uh, four stroke outboard. It's got a little kick to it, but if there was a lot of wind and four people on that dinghy, you would want something a little bit stronger. I think I might end up upgrading to like a nine horse. I wouldn't want to go anything higher than that on this dinghy. And by nine, I mean like, you know, 9.9 .9 or whatever. They say uh, 10 horsepower is the limit, but to get real close to the 10, you got everything else going 9.9, 9.8. Look at that fire sunset. If you're hearing that humming sound in the background, my slip is right next to the marina's Wi-Fi booster. So that's what's making that humming noise. Pops had a pretty eventful day. He said it felt like he was on a vacation. Lounging. Hey, neighbor. Hi. <laughs> There's less boats in the way now. <laughs> he just got launched today. First day on the water. Eventually, they'll all join in. Patty, wait up. <laughs> Patty knows the way back to the car. She's leading the pack. Patty, where are you going? Maybe she has to go to the bathroom. Bye. What a beautiful ending to a fabulous day. As we head back home, I just want to thank you for watching another episode of Solitude and Sailing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Home is where your story begins.